So are you going to talk some more smack about Butte, Montana? Yeah, apparently yeah. Pathead Farm Kid uh, <laughs> wanted to make sure we were aware of a post uh, on the Pat Gray Unleashed Facebook fan page, yeah, yeah. which I haven't checked since about 1826. <laughs> uh, but they wrote, uh, Daniel J. Rapkoch yeah. wrote, uh, your pure and simple false statements about Butte. Have, has <laughs> caused me great concern about your credibility as a whole. Has wow. it? Has it? Has Daniel? it? Uh oh. Have you been to Butte, my friend? Oh, no. Well, we're going to find out. He apparently lives in Butte. Butte is doing quite well. Oh, yeah, really? he does. We have a vibrant community. The yeah. mining operations are going quite well. What? Get out of here. All right. <laughs> All right. The mining operations even, are going. I mean, there's some other good stuff. In I'm going to get to it. But first, I want to I want to deal with the He's mining operations. Got to pick operations. this stuff apart, man. <laughs> Come on. One thing at a time. Okay. First of all, <laughs> first of all, the mining operations. Okay, you know there's a giant hole in Butte that's a mile wide, half a mile. No, it's a it's a mile long, oh. half a mile wide. You're not specifically talking about Daniel. No. Okay. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm talking about the copper mine there. Okay. Uh, huh. That was initially run by I think the Anaconda Company and somebody else bought it. But anyway, it's filled with toxic waste water and it's a thousand feet deep now the the hole is 1700 feet deep and a thousand of that is a poison lake hold on a second tell me about the mining operations going quite well i've seen this there are people (laughs) i think somebody sent me a video there are people that are paid to sit there and shoot not at the birds that land there. Yeah. Because if the birds drink the water, They'll they die. just die. It, it they really die. Should, yeah. yeah. And so they, they just try to scare them away, make right. loud noises and right. stuff. Right. <laughs> yes. Well, that's just stupid in yeah. itself. You can pay, I think it's $3 to go look at the poison lake if you want. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, nice. so somebody owns it. It's a super fun site. Yeah. That is awesome it i mean it is toxic freaking waste so the mining operation is going quite, quite well quite well it's going quite so well. would you say that the <laughs> the toxic lake in butte montana is uh-huh. beautiful this time of year this time of year it is okay. yeah. yeah yeah you know as oh, those awesome poison smells and and well, gas somebody's got start to, work, to leak out somebody's oh, got yeah. to work the gate uh, selling tickets for people <laughs> right? coming to, to see it right, right. the tourists <laughs> yeah yeah and somebody's yeah. got to stand at the side and shoot the birds away exactly so that's you know they're creating jobs <laughs> okay but daniel says oh no and i don't mean to disparage butte <laughs> Yeah, you do. <laughs> you don't do. stop. Don't. You do. Don't. We have a vibrant community. The mining operations are going quite well, and we're a far cry safer than that hellhole, soul-crushing, evil city known as Helena. <laughs> oh. Well, the mean streets. I mean, well, the we mean already, streets yeah, are dangerous. We know that. Yeah, we know yeah. that. We know that. <laughs> do some research, buddy. Butte is a <laughs> glorious community where man's taming of the earth is on full display. <laughs> wow. A taming that has brought about the great riches of Montana, the United States, and the world today. I expect a full apology. Yeah, you keep expecting that. Now. Dang. <laughs> we got some... Come uh, on. The riches of the world? Uh, that really that came awesome. from Helena. Helena Helena was responsible for more millionaires per capita than any city in the world. Oh, did you hear that, Dan? Yeah. So put that in your pipe and smoke what, with it, with guns? Dan. Gun sales? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Wow. The gold, the gold they took out of uh, Last Chance Gulch was, uh, I don't know, eighteen billion dollars or something worth. Wow! Yeah, so, it's incredible. So now, now there is renewed interest in this uh, playoff game tonight. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, this is this is cutthroat now, Dan. And I'll tell you, I, my dad was born in Butte. Uh, my grandfather died in Butte in the Great Mining Disaster of 1917. Ooh. My grandfather is he uh, at the bottom of the hole? Yeah, he's mm. yeah. Uh, really? It's weird because my whole life, my dad talked about his dad leaving him when he was two, and uh, and so I just always thought my he grandfather just got up and left. Got up yeah. and left his family. No, he went to work that day. <laughs> they didn't know he was apparently going to work, but he got called in. Apparently, somebody got sick, and he went and filled in sure. for him. And that's the day of the great mining disaster, the biggest uh, underground mining disaster in world history. Wow. How long did it take your family to find out that he was there? Ah, I was. I just found it out mm, 20 or 30, I mean, 20 did, years ago. Did your the dad word die? Reparations yeah, I told mind. my dad. Did, he okay. didn't believe it. Oh. Yeah, he was already kind of uh, go out of going, yeah. going uh, a little bit, you know, the yeah. dementia had taken over a little bit. 
<clears throat> so he didn't really he didn't really get to appreciate the fact that yeah your dad was dead when he when you were two uh, does the, was, that's why he any, didn't come back is there any reparations any cut you're getting from the uh, great mining disaster not so far and it's been over 105 years so on on somebody thinking. owes somebody something 168 men died there go oh, wow. 168 can you believe that um, amazing anyway uh yeah so capital high versus butte tonight be there i'm Aloha. torn now i mean i want i want uh, the mean streets to win for you but, yeah, but i mean daniel's got me rooting for butte <laughs> <laughs> well they need somebody to root for them they really do